Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making three ingredient ice cream three ways. This is a super simple recipe. It's super clean, and you guys are gonna be so obsessed. All right guys, so before we get started on our recipe, I wanted to give Laird a big thank you for partnering with me on this part of the video. I actually ordered their immune support. Um, you know that I'm a huge fan of this brand. It's super clean. They use the best ingredients. So this year has Asceola cherry, elderberry, echinacea, reishi mushrooms. It has a thousand milligrams of vitamin C um, and it has, what was it? Iron, vitamin C, calcium, and potassium. We're actually gonna make one right now. So let's go ahead and open this up and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So this is really like a little powerhouse in these little sticks. So these are great for on the go. Um, if you're traveling, you can make these in hot water and cold water. So I put some water into my cup and now we're just going to pour our little packet in here. Now this is something that you would take if you feel like a little something coming on, like a cold or um, obviously just for daily immune support. Um, that's what I kind of ordered them for. Um, and, but if you definitely feel something coming on, then this is exactly what you need. Okay, and now we're gonna do a taste test. Hmm. It tastes um, like a little sweet and tangy, like a combination of the two. But at the end of the day, this is for health purposes. And if you can enjoy your drink while you're doing something good for your body, then I'm all for it. And it is dairy-free, gluten-free, and vegan. So just FYI. And Lairs usually never gives discounts, but they did give me a 15% discount for you guys until the 27th. So I'm gonna put the link down in the description below. Go ahead and click that and use Low Carb Love at checkout. Cheers. All right guys, so now we're gonna get started. Here we have all of our ingredients. We're gonna get started with our vanilla. So we have our heavy cream. We're just gonna pour that right into our mixing bowl. If you want your batter to whip up faster, then just make sure you put your bowl into the fridge. And then here we have our sweetener. This is powdered sweetener. I use allulose and I do have everything linked down below for you. And then here we have our vanilla. And this is just vanilla flavor. You can use any flavor, really. You can use maple, but of course this is a homemade vanilla. That's what we're going with. And that's it. Three simple ingredients. All right, so now we have our stand mixer. This is all set up. You're gonna see how fast this turns out. I'm just gonna put our little attachment and mix. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. Um, I literally just whipped this for about one minute. I don't know if you can see that. If you guys have heard of the mason jar ice cream, um, typically you have to whip it for about, you know, like 10 minutes. So this here, by using a mixer, you just, you cut all that out. So as you can see, it's nice and, I don't know if you can see that, it's really nice and fluffy. So now this is perfect to throw into the freezer. So I'm just gonna put this one in. I'm gonna show you how we're doing the other flavors. It's a little different. So um, I will show you how we're gonna make our flavored ones. So now it's full to the top. There's a little bit of air in there. I was trying to get it down, but it's gonna be fine. We're gonna put our lid. Okay, so I'm going to try to get the air out. Okay, so there we go. No more air, went down a little. So now it's perfect. We're gonna put it in the freezer and then we'll get started on our next flavor. Okay, so while our vanilla's in the freezer, we're gonna get started on our chocolate. Here's our heavy cream. And we're actually going to cream the, or whip the heavy cream and the sweetener first. So we have that and then our sweetener. And we're gonna give that a mix. And I will show you the consistency it should be at before we start adding our, um, our chocolate, okay? Okay, so let's whip. So let me show you what it should look like. We are going for just a soft peak, not stiff, okay? This is what it should kinda look like. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and now what we're gonna do is that first. Okay, and we're actually gonna um, fold in our chocolate. So we're just gonna throw it, toss it. 
Okay, and we're gonna try and fold it bottom over the top. And you don't wanna just mix it because then it'll go flat. You want it to stay nice and fluffy, so that's why you always fold from the bottom and then up. So that's good. And let's go ahead. We're just gonna give it a, a quick mix. That's what it should look like. Okay, just to make sure it's well incorporated. Oh my gosh, this smells like a chocolate factory right now. Okay, so it's perfect. We're gonna set that aside. And we're going to, we have our little mason jar here. Okay. Oh my God, this is, honestly, it tastes delicious. Let me know um, if you guys want a dairy-free version of whether it be vanilla, chocolate, peanut butter, all three, so that I can get working on that because you already know that I have been trying to cut out dairy but here I am still making these delicious recipes for you guys. But um, yeah, I would love to, I would love to uh, make a dairy free if you guys are, are interested in it. So let me know. So this one was a little heavier because of the cocoa powder, but it's the same amount. And now we're just gonna put our little lid, kind of make sure all the air is out. And this one's gonna go into the freezer and then we're gonna get started on our next uh, flavor. Okay, now we're gonna get started on our last flavor. So we're gonna do the same thing. This will be really quickly. We're just gonna do the whip. And then I'm gonna show you um, the peanut butter that we're using. And I'll give you another option as well. But quickly, let me go ahead and get this started. And then I will show you what we're using. So um, we're gonna add our sweetener. All right, let's mix. So you're gonna want to whip it just until there's soft peaks, as you can see here. It's not fully, um, you know, there's not stiff peaks. I'm gonna use this one here. This is just like the little peanut butter um, powder. We are going to fold this in. So we're just going to try and fold this. Okay, make sure it's well incorporated. Okay, so I did a very, very quick whip because, um, as you can see, it's nice and fluffy. Okay, so it's perfect. You guys are gonna be obsessed with this recipe. I'm not even joking. So we're going to put this into our mason jar. Okay, so I filled it up to the top and now we put our lid. Boom, boom, boom. Try to get the air out. All right guys, so now here are our ice creams. We just pulled them out of the freezer. We have our peanut butter, chocolate, and vanilla. So I wanna um, show you the, um, the consistency. I've let them sit out for a little bit. I hope not too long. Okay, so here is our peanut butter flavor. Then we have our vanilla. I did let it sit out for a little, little too long, but I just wanted you guys to see the actual texture. So peanut butter, vanilla, and our chocolate. So, so can you see that? Look at that. Chocolate, peanut butter, and vanilla. So perfect. All right guys, so now for my favorite part of this entire video, we're gonna do the taste test. We're starting off with vanilla. I'm a huge vanilla fan. So let's see if this lives up to it. Okay, this tastes like a McDonald's soft serve ice cream. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is fire. This vanilla, if you're a vanilla fan, I am. Like I'm, I always go for the vanilla. Like if I do Hagen dazs or if I do anything, it's always vanilla. And then from there, it's like butter pecan and stuff like that. So vanilla, fire, let's do peanut butter. And remember the peanut butter was used with the peanut butter powder, but you can totally use the, um, just a regular peanut butter. So let's see the taste on this. Okay, the peanut butter is like a, like a peanut butter McFlurry. Do you remember those McFlurries? Bomb. If you're a peanut butter fan, right here, this is all for you, the chocolate. The chocolate, if you can see, like it is so decadent. I already know this is gonna be like popping with flavor. Mm. Oh my gosh. Okay, the chocolate tastes almost like a pudding. Like that is the, like the richness, super rich, creamy. Oh, I would have to say that the chocolate is probably my favorite. It's almost like a deep, dark chocolate, but no bitterness. 
because you know how, I don't know if you guys worry about the dark chocolate sometimes being a little bitter. This is not, it's perfect. Honestly, the balance on all three are perfect. The flavor's on point, 10 out of 10. If you guys make this, you guys are gonna be so obsessed. All right guys, so this is the recipe. I kept it super simple. This is almost like a base, right? Because you can think about how many um, toppings you can mix into this, almost like, what is, what's that place called? Like Cold Stone, where you put the base and then you add strawberries and you can add granola and you can add a bunch of stuff and then you fold it in. Fire. You guys, I mean, like there's the possibilities are endless. Summer is here. You guys can make this for summer. It's also like something really fun to make with like a group of friends or if you have kids, like with the kiddos. Um, so you guys are gonna have a lot of fun with this, but overall, plain Jane, just like this, it is the bomb, and you guys are gonna be, yeah. I mean, I'm not even gonna say anymore. You just have to try this. So that's the video. I hope you really enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys want to see a dairy free version because you guys know I've been trying to cut back on dairy. Of course, I'm not 100% dairy free, but I have been cutting back a significant amount and I was thinking about making like a coconut base, a coconut cream base ice cream. But you know, if that's something you guys want, then let me know and I'll totally make it um, film a video for you guys. All right, so I'm going to link the recipe down below. There will be a link that's going to take you to lowcarblove.com where this recipe will be there along with exclusive recipes that I don't share anywhere else. So make sure you check that out. And if you still want a little more of me, make sure you're following me on Instagram and on TikTok where I share more recipe ideas and then just a glimpse into my everyday life. Guys, thank you so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on the next video. Mwah.